Hey guys, I'm Roxy and joining me on Slice today is fitness enthusiast and healthy food chef John Bastel. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me on Little Things. I remember that Love infomercial. Still runs. It still runs. You've probably seen him. You know him as the Fitness Made Simple guy. And today we have a very special treat. You're going to be making, what are you making? I am making the Fitness Made Simple personal pizza. So you can basically uh, have something pleasing to your, for your taste buds and not expand your waistline. So satisfy those cravings for whatever you're looking forward to pizza-wise, mm -hmm. but not add any extra calories. And we have to mention it is affordable because this is Slice, and you know the rules. You get $12 and 20 minutes or less to make a meal for two. You'll be making this meal for two, and that's kind of... Amazing. We have a cool judge, our fitness enthusiast of the office, Eunice. Hi, You'll be judging on creativity, presentation, and taste. So are you ready to fulfill those three criteria with this pizza? I will try my best to fulfill those little things criteria. And again, let me... $12 or less and 20 minutes to make this meal for two. And remind us, I know you went on a shopping spree, how much money you spent and what exactly you bought. So I got the ground turkey breast, which is $5.99, whole slew of mixed vegetables totaling $3.50, a whole grain pita, which is also low fat pita, which is 99 cents, and a whopping 50 cents for some shredded fat free low sodium cheese. And again, 20 minutes or less to make this meal for two. Let's put the timer on the clock. So are you ready for this slice challenge? No time like the present, Miss Roxy. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, well, first of all, gang, notice I have the gloves on. We're doing things tight and right over here on Little Things and making sure we are totally sanitary. Um, what I like to do with the turkey breast, you can even use turkey off the bone if you don't get ground turkey breast, is make little balls of it. And let's make sure this is on medium. We heat up our pan on medium. And it was sprayed beforehand with some no-stick spray, but I'm gonna spray a little bit more in there. There we go. And we're asking all our viewers what their favorite pizza topping is. Okay. I can't wait to well, hear I it. can't wait to hear what all the little things viewers have to say about pizza toppings. Right now we're getting some nice sizzle. I love mushrooms, and that's one of what we're using today. You know what? You know what mushrooms claim to fame is, Roxy? What is it? The only vegetable with vitamin D, mm. which helps increase calcium absorption. So by having a high mushroom diet, you can help promote bone growth and also improve your immunity. Eunice, what's your favorite pizza topping? I think pepperoni. Putting some of this in here. Remember, we're making two. You like, you like pepperoni, Eunice? I do, if I'm having a, a cheat meal. Oh, I was just, <laughs> Eunice, you read my mind. But Eunice is on point today. She can't have those cheat meals with uh, summer coming around. Uh, well, everybody talks about getting their summer bodies, but at Fitness yeah. Made Simple, we like to think about having a 365 day a year body. And that's what having these types of fitness meals will help you do. Look at that. These are getting nice and brown on one side. I'm realizing that I'm making it for two, so I'm putting in a little bit of extra. Carol says her favorite topping is bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Bacon can make every day a little better, Carol, but once again, you know, that's, the, that's like one of the splurge foods that you would have, and it's not something as part of a staple, but Carol, if you like your bacon and you can have the body you want, more power to you. Justin saying, I give him a perfect score already just for choosing pizza as the dish. I love you. Who was that? Who was that, Roxy? That is Justin Coop. Well, Justin, thank you so much, man. Much love and respect to you. Sherry likes green peppers, mushroom, pineapple, Canadian bacon, or ground beef. And we are going to get to that. We have 20 minutes, so we're doing well. Right now, I'm covering this pan with pieces of the turkey breast and it looks just so delicious. Now we get to have some fun. Let's put one more in there for good luck. Justin, this is for you, okay, for being so cool as to thank me for choosing pizza for this. Take our mushrooms, put a little bit of those, and we're put, gonna put our vegetables, mix them in there. Right now we're just sitting them on top, uh, and then we're gonna mix them with the uh, wooden utensils. Why are we using wooden utensils? Because that will decrease um, any type of uh, scratches and scarring that go on in pots and pans that are no stick and will ruin the non-stick um, surface. Put a little bit of, we put some green peppers in, red peppers, bell peppers, 
awesome food, rich in beta carotene. Red peppers in particular are the highest in vitamin C. Uh, the red peppers in addition to that, and also the uh, green bell peppers, are full of capsaicin. That is an awesome ingredient to basically, um, it's an antioxidant that helps you decrease inflammation and also reduces the bad cholesterol. So if you guys have some high levels on that, you might want to have more capsaicin or red peppers in your diet. This is the spinach. It's looking so pretty here. I hope we have a high camera angle of that. We do, we have an overhead camera. Spinach, one of the best things about it, has thylakoids in the stem. A lot of people don't talk about it. Thylakoids are compounds that help to uh, sort of slow digestion. So what they do in your stomach is they give a chance for your intestinal hormones to send the um, signal to your brain that you're full and satiated, so it stops you from eating. You a lot of times- you know that? Yes. You did. <laughs> you I'm putting some tomatoes in too. <laughs> A lot of times what happened, Mother Nature played a dirty trick on us. She put our brains and our stomachs in two different time zones. It usually takes 15 to 20 minutes uh, for the brain to realize the stomach is full. And that's why a lot of times after 15 to 20 minutes when you feel full at the table, you just want to take a nap because you're overwhelmed with the food intake. This, these are onions. Anybody know what onions are good for? Onions actually help to heal infection. And they contain a lot of vitamins and minerals and uh, also um, compounds that help to regulate blood sugar. So onions are really good to keep uh, blood sugar spikes from happening. We did a good job there. That was Michael's, really fast. Michael saying, John Basel, you are a legend. Michael. <laughs> That's all, All right, this is my favorite right here. We're gonna take a second on this. This is turmeric, okay? Spelled turmeric, but pronounced turmeric. Uh, this is my favorite antioxidant spice. Um, it's almost tasteless. But what it is, is it's basically anti-inflammatory. Inflammation is the root cause of most every disease, and it is also the root cause of both cosmetic and medical issues that happen later in life. So you want to not have wrinkles, you want to always look like you're a vampire or a 12-year-old child, have a lot more turmeric in your diet. I put a couple of sprinkles of that on, and I'm going to also put a sprinkle afterwards. Now, we have this all in here. You have less than 15 minutes. You're doing really good. I'm doing good. And we just, a piece of the spinach just flew onto the table. There we go. It doesn't have to be really super clean, people, as long as it's healthy and tasty. This is really coming out good. We want to make sure that the um, turkey breast gets sort of a little brown on both sides at the medium setting. That's important. So I'm not sure how you pronounce this guy's name. It's SEO. Uh, that stands for Search Engine Optimization, Roxy. Or Mr. Waterman says, no tricky dance moves here. Pizza made simple. Mr. Waterman, you're on point. No tricky dance moves. It's a workout for the chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and even abs. <laughs> Don't have me start singing the song now, too. <laughs> he's quoting, he actually, Roxy, he's quoting up uh, popular lines from different um, Fitness Made Simple commercials. That one was from the Fat Burning Workout commercial. Have you guys tried the awesome. Fitness Made Simple workouts? We want to know. Leave a comment below or leave I'm going to put just a little bit more spinach in this. This looks, I mean, just want to point out one thing right here. The turmeric makes this look so colorful on everything. And now just about all the turkey breast is getting a little bit brown. This is coming along really, really good. This is going to be enough for two. Um, I want to add a little bit more. What were we talking about before, guys? Capsaicin. I want to make sure my LDL, my bad cholesterol, is as low as possible. How do you do that? More capsaicin in your diet. Ricky says, this actually doesn't look so bad for something so healthy. I wish I could taste it. Uh, Ricky, you got to somehow get here by osmosis or something like that because the taste is unbelievable. I used the, this pizza, which I created, to wean myself off of when I had cravings and was starting Fitness Made Simple of regular pizzas that can sometimes have four to five times the calories. This one is going to have about 250 calories for the whole pizza. A single slice of pizza you get from the store, depending on the toppings you have, can sometimes reach up to a thousand calories and have a massive amount of fat grams. This is really, this is actually having a nice little style. Let's just mix up a few more. That turkey breast is smelling so good. I wish this was Smell-O-Vision. It smells really good. I can smell it from here. I, I knew I was going to like Eunice for some reason. <laughs> here we go. We That's have one viewer. Bo wants to know, John, what is your favorite 80s film? My favorite 80s film? 
my favorite 80s film, my favorite 80s film is, uh, it's going back a bit. What was the one, um, I know it's gonna be one that I'm not thinking of too. Hold on, let me stir this a second and then I will, I will come back to favorite 80s film on that one. Let's get back to the cooking. Yeah, no, I'm gonna think of, no, I gotta, I gotta think of favorite 80s film. I was, I'm trying to think of the one that was, that had a lasting impact that Rob Lowe was in when he was, Bad Influence. That was Bad Influence, I remembered it, okay? Because sometimes you just want to be a bad influence. Kim wants to know how much is turmeric. We incorporated that as one of our pantry items because we did have that here yeah. in our pantry. So uh, turmeric, actually, if you go, I don't know if I should, if you go to a popular low-cost um, uh, chain that uh, initials are TJ, but I'm not going to say the chain unless they sponsor the show. You can get it for like two or three dollars. The typical spice price. Yes. Which is, and that's for a whole, a thing that's gonna last forever. This looks really good so far. Now, put that down. I'm gonna put both of the um, uh, pitas on one plate, okay? Just to make it easier, because then you're gonna have to go into the microwave. And you notice the pitas have sort of like a, con, a concave side and a convex side. You could sometimes put them on one on top and do it like a regular pizza, like a little frisbee, or you can, I like to personally put them on the convex, I mean the concave side, so everything sits in there. I usually fold it over. So I'm gonna do it that way for today. Um, all right, now I'm gonna take this over here. We can actually, I have a little, I'm gonna put that here and turn this off. See, now, not to brag or anything, my first time using this and my skills found the off button within a matter of seconds. Paul saying bad influence. John Basal, you're a good influence. I'm going to have to come back to little things because I am feeling the love from all the little things folk. Thank you so much. This Claudio looks really good. Claudio is asking, where is the cheese? Well, Claudio, you're jumping ahead. Don't get too ahead of yourselves. Exactly. Here. Right now we're making these two look identical for, for at first. Claudio. You're saying no sauce, but we have sauce on the table. Oh, of course. Uh, we do. And I love the fact that, um, you know, the little things viewers are pretty much on point being very observant. We have just under 10 minutes, so you're doing fine. We're doing good. We got this, guys. We got it. But hold on, you wanna see, we're gonna go to sauce in a second, and it's gonna be tasty sauce. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's hope, we, let's get a nice little uh, shot of this. Since we're doing presentation, I'm just gonna make sure everything's full. And Kim's asking where can she find the complete recipe, and we will post a link to it at the end of the show. So. Littlethings.com, where can yes. you find everything? Littlethings.com. All right, gang, we're gonna do it this way. This one is, this one's gonna be what, what I like to have my favorite. This is Thai peanut sauce, okay? It's also called peanut satay sauce. I just use a little bit of it, but I love the taste. I like this better than any type of sauce, pretty much. And you just put a little drizzle on it like that, okay, and in that little dead area. Now, this other one, uh, you guys, uh, give me the first two that come up. You want Italian style or you want Mexican style? Italian or Mexican. There's a slight delay, so we may have to wait okay. a little bit. Well, hold on, we can do a little. Tula saying, where's do, the do, sauce? Do, it goes do, on do. the bottom, but not in this case. What'd you say? Tula saying the sauce goes on the bottom. Well, we can do it that way, Tula, but I don't. I actually put it on the top because I like the sauce to melt into the other ingredients when put in the microwave. Oh, if it was on the answer. bottom, go Omar ahead. Omar saying Italian. Oh, and I had my black bean and regular salsa right in my hand. Um, all right, well, we're gonna double, we don't have an, an extra spoon, so we're gonna use the wooden spoon, which already has that flavor on from the cooking. And we're gonna put a little bit, this is the Italian, once again, this is sort of low fat, low sodium. Gotta always watch your sodium, tomato sauce. Tomatoes, as we talked about, great source of the antioxidant lycopene, helps fight cancer, prostate cancer, uh, some colo, uh, colon and rectal cancers, and also lung cancer and stomach cancer. This looks really good, okay. Now Man. Kim's saying it's better on top. Kim, don't doubt me, I got you back. All right. Uh, it's also, uh, serious, all, serious, all kidding aside, um, I like it better, especially on top, because it, it, see, it seeps into everything. In the microwave, that little bit of heat we're gonna put it on for that one minute really makes it taste better. But I have done it on the bottom too, so have to say that. Um, we have, uh, we're good. Uh, which one, we're gonna put cheese on one, we're gonna put no cheese on the other. We're gonna put cheese on the, um, or you want cheese on both? You guys want cheese on both? We'll you put it on the cheese, cheese on both, why not? 
Cheese on both? All right. Yeah. We're, this is cheddar cheese, once again, low sodium, low fat, <clears throat> a lot of taste, and we're putting it on both. This Thai one is so We have about seven minutes delicious. left, and Omar wants to know, is it still healthy if I eat three? <laughs> Uh, well, Omar, remember, as I said, each of these is about 250 calories, so that would be 750 calories, and what we talk about Fitness Made Simple is calories in, calories out, so you'd be having to bust your butt in the gym to burn off the three of them. Let's stick with one for now. They're actually pretty filling. Okay, I'm going to turn around over here, guys, or actually, no back to camera. Just popping this in for a minute. It looks like it's set for 59 seconds. May have to do 130, because usually it's a minute for one of them. Um, and we go start. There it goes. All right, we can answer some questions now. That's going to rotate. That minute is about how long it takes the cheese to start melting and all the ingredients to start sort of blending together. Usually I put it in for a minute for one of them, but we'll see how it looks after because the two, it might work just for two as well. Justin saying, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a pizza if it doesn't have cheese. Justin, you now got two of them with cheese. So we had your back and basically knew what you were going to say beforehand. But some people are lactose intolerant, so you have to take that into consideration. Well, I was, I was going to say, it's not only that, but um, we, the thing about the pizza, I almost look at the pizza as a solid soup, like I do omelets. The thing is, you could put all different things on based on your preferences and also your limitations. Like, for instance, we were talking about the tofu cubes. If you are vegetarian, you don't want turkey, you don't want chicken breast. This is a great alternative and tastes very, very similar. It still has that type of protein flavor and, oh, there we go, and also fullness that you want in your meal. Kate is wanting to know. I'm gonna put this on for 30 seconds more. Can you put it in the oven? Yes. I will, uh, Kate, you say cadence? Kate wants to know if you could put it in the oven. Just gonna put it on, but yes, you can actually put it in the toaster oven, I find the, um, or the regular oven, it works just as well. Um, I just put it in for a little bit longer if I'm gonna do that. But you can also uh, experiment with it. I like the cheese to melt a little bit. Let's see how that's doing. Oh, we're getting good, guys. We're getting good. We're almost there. This is why we have to have a live in-studio audience over at Little Things, so we can have taste testers aside from just the we awesome judge one. over here. Well, we're just gonna, I said, uh, in addition. mouth is watering as you talk. <laughs> I'm starving. Awesome. <laughs> how much, how, and we have four minutes left. We are, oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just the way I like it. The cheese is, if you guys can get a picture of this, just the way I like it, let's put it back the way it was. This is the um, one with the peanut sauce, this is the one with the tomato sauce. I like the cheese to just be beginning to melt, sort of midway through melting, not completely liquid on top of the pizza. Um, but I was gonna say, now, now the thing about these that's so good is they're very, very filling because you have also the fiber in the um, whole grain pita as well as all the vegetables. So you can get away with having less calories but still feeling full. These are just. And Sisler has a really good question. They asked, John, Let's I want to eat healthy like this all the time, but it's tough. How do I stay motivated? That is a great question. Actually, to be honest with you, it is no harder to eat healthy than it is to eat badly. You just have to grow those habits. You've been raised a certain way to be eating what you're getting. Even at a fast food restaurant nowadays, they have healthy options. You just have to make those choices. How you stay motivated is you have to have a greater desire to change than comfort level you have currently. When I wanted to change my body, and I was a big bowling pin on legs with a big wide middle, no shoulders, long skinny arms, I had a greater desire to change than comfort level being stuck where I was. So just turn that switch in your head, make it a priority, and every day try to do one thing better, fitness-wise or meal-wise, and by the end of the month you're gonna be 30 times better and 30 times closer to achieving your goal. And you have about three minutes left if you wanna start plating. If I wanna start what? Plating, presenting. Oh, plating and presenting. Well, there are no extra plates here. Um, we could cut these up, but to be honest, do, do we have a knife or anything to cut these up, Mr. Roxy? We have in the drawer. We do, okay. Or there's knives actually behind you, too, next to the oven. Uh, okay. First time in the Little Things kitchen. Do you want to step up? These yeah, look, I'm These ready. look all sorts of dangerous, but I love it. If everybody wants to try, I, I just want to show one thing quickly. When I have the Thai lettuce thing, when I have it as a personal pizza for one, you know, you're not cutting it usually, I actually have it bent like this. Yusuf, just smell that. Just smell that piece of deliciousness. Smells amazing. That's the Thai one. The heat makes that sauce, ooh, 
But I, I have it like this and I eat it almost like a taco. But you can also cut it into pieces. It's up to you, Yusuf. I'm going to let you decide. We have knives. I think, I think your way is a lot easier. Okay, go ahead. All right, cool. And that's the Italian one. Are you guys ready? So we're going to stop the clock again. You have two minutes to spare, just like you had some change to spare. <laughs> I love little things. It's hot. It's hot. It usually takes a minute to cool. It's really good, though. Yeah, I'm going to have a little and bite. And you tried the Italian pizza. Yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a little bite of this one from my end, just to taste it. Oh. It is oh, okay. I'm not going to say anything. You could have the other one. Okay. Try the Thai one. Mm. So viewers out there, like what would you rate this Fitness Made Simple's personal pizza? We are judging on presentation, taste, and creativity. Oh, there you go. That has like a little taste explosion in your mouth. Let's let our judge decide. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> which one, I also want to know which one you like better, Yusuf. I liked um, the, the Thai one better. I think it's kind of like a little Asian fusion. Um, the flavors are kind of exploding in your mouth, but not too crazy. Um, and honestly, from you know a cooking perspective, I can't cook. So this is a meal that I can you know definitely see myself cooking and um, having a fun time doing it. And the preparation seems very minimal, so. Um, I can always appreciate that. So from one to ten, you have your little judging panels oh, behind you. Oh, I didn't realize we were actually getting okay. numbers. <laughs> and a chalk. Um, presentation, one to ten, what would you give it? Okay. When it was original, not right now. <laughs> Sean says, looks delicious. Too Thank much you, effort. Sean, you didn't watch the whole no, thing. No, Sean, it's not that much effort. If you didn't make two, I can honestly get this thing done in less than five minutes. It's very, very little effort. Uh, that's where Yusef was completely on point. I had no cooking skills when I started. All right, you guys ready? Yep, presentation. You get a 10. So I'm giving it a 10. He's my good buddy. I love him. I think the colors are vibrant. It looks really appealing. Um, it was a little hard to eat, but that doesn't matter if it tastes amazing. And the next category is taste. Based on taste, what would you give? John's Pizza. All right, give me a second. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read some comments. Okay. SEO, the guy's Yes. Name. Hey, SEO. He said, I've never been so inspired by pizza. Thank you, SEO. And also, when you think about the colors, or when I think about it, you think about healthiness because of all the different fruits and vegetables. So, Eunice? So, for taste, I'm also giving it a 10. I love Eunice. <laughs> I love Eunice. And I'm not just saying it to say it. Paula. Um, I think I'm giving it a 10 because, you know, a lot of the times with these short meals or, you know, when you don't have enough time to prep, um, you know, you end up getting just like a bite of cheese or just like a bite of chicken. And I feel like I got a well-rounded kind of 360 um, taste on everything that he put into the pan. So I'm giving it a 10. So our last category is creativity. So Eunice, do you want to take some time to judge John on his creativity? Okay. And Sizzler is saying, who needs Blue Apron when you have John Bass down? Oh, Sizzler. Well, the, the chef with the highest score on Slice gets invited back for an Ultimate Slice challenge. Uh -oh. And depending on what Eunice scored you on creativity could mean that you could be coming back to this challenge. So, creativity, Eunice, what is John's score? I'm also giving him a 10. <laughs> uh -huh, hug it out. Because we have matching Eunice. shirts. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, but it's, got, it's kind of... We got the polo memo. <laughs> no, but it's really hard to kind of be creative with something that's been, you know, used time in and time out. Um, I feel like, you know, pizza is a hard thing to be kind of creative, and I think you did a great job at, you know, um, having all these different toppings and, you know, going through all the health benefits. I think um, it's, you know, it's, it's always hard to kind of take a, uh, a food that's, you know, super high in fat um, and make it, you know, super tasty, presentable. And for me, it's the convenience and how easy and quick you made it. Um, I think a lot, of pe a lot of people in the city, especially that have been busy lives, um, have a hard time to kind of, you know, set aside some time to actually enjoy a meal or even have time to cook a meal. Everyone's ordering on their apps and everything. So um, definitely overall for creativity, uh, a definite 10, especially for um, the Asian inspired uh, chicken. That it's the Thai peanut sauce unit. Yeah, it is. It basically, it's just <laughs> Thai peanut sauce makes everything better. 
So the perfect score, very rare on Slice. I think it's only happened one other time. So you, that probably means you're coming back. We'll see you again. So thank you, John, so much for joining us on Slice. We'll let you guys finish your meals as we wrap our show today. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.